talks everybody's business. When it becomes definitive, you recognize you're dealing with somebody who has a problem. And not only do you pray for that particular person, but you approach them. Because if a person approaches you with gossip about another person, you have the right, if even if you don't do it at the same time, but you go home and it's kind of in your mind and you pray about it, you have the same right to approach them about the situation. And you can go to them and say, my brother, my sister, can we talk? And just it's just a matter of not attacking, not um, being, you know, um, or whatever, just, just frankly, openly expressing your thoughts that what was done wasn't right and you recognize that there might be a problem there and you're willing to work with that person through that problem if they're willing to at least allow you a lot of times people will be rebuffed and they will no matter how you know gently you approach the situation because of embarrassment and all that but you can seek to at least help the person to understand that that course of action is damaging not only to the person that they're gossiping, but to themselves. As you had last week, I did a, a, I, um, a presentation and I touched on a particular law of the mind, the law of reciprocal influence. And, and in that, what we do t- to others, we might just gossip them. And we think that we feel, you know, we might even gloat about it, that we've damaged their reputation. But we've actually damaged our own souls 10 times worse than we've damaged them. So we recognize that here is somebody. Sometimes it's a cry for help too. When you find that that's a pattern of behavior, it's a cry for help. But at some point, there has to be confrontation. And confrontation doesn't mean argumentation, argumentative being argumentative or, you know, um, that it's just approaching the person in kindness, in love, in gentleness, with understanding and saying, look, hey, why don't we talk about, why don't we talk a little bit? There's something that's, in my heart, that's on my mind that I'd like to talk to you about. And we have to be able to do that as Christians, to approach people for their own good and talk with them. And if the person doesn't want to hear or listen, then we have to at least be willing to pray for them that God will somehow bring them to recognize how ugly that kind of behavior is. Amen. All valid points.